weak or non-existent processes that ensure consistency of executing the actions that lead to happy customers, efficient technicians, and bigger sales are hurting your service department revenue. A customer's service visit before, during, and after provides multiple opportunities to elevate the one-on-one -on -one trust between service advisors and their customers, and by extension, between customers and dealership. Recently, Greg Chris of Chris Consulting LLC joined us for an online exploration of the different stages of the service visit and how each stage offers unique opportunities to achieve the status of trusted advisor. The full 45-minute recording of this discussion is available to Dealers Edge members only. To access this workshop, as well as our full library of webinar recordings, executive summaries, books, manuals, and special reports, please visit dealersedge.com slash free trial. Because service advisors have many opportunities to either injure or nurture trust levels, being prepared and knowing what to say to put the customer at ease is vital for retention. Logically constructed processes can help service advisors be prepared, efficient, and profitable. Word tracks can put good processes on steroids by ensuring that advisors build the necessary rapport. They become their customer's trusted automotive advisor by delivering the right message at the right time. Greg Chris noted that there are five points in the service transaction where word tracks can influence repair order yield and customer perception of value. The appointment, the write-up event, the estimate report, the multi-point inspection, the completion. Four rules for the appointment. One, don't let the phone ring more than three times. Two, staff properly and have backup people trained to jump in and handle the call. Remember, people are trying to do business with you. Three, be prepared. Have your screen minimized for the appointment so you can click and go. Have paper handy in case you need to make notes not available in the appointment screen. Four, never answer the phone when you are out of breath. It makes you sound too busy to handle the customer you're about to engage. It will simply run people off. Appointment word tracks. Assuming that the appointment is not made online, this is the first opportunity to make a good impression. Drive hours through the shop and set the stage for a great customer experience. When calls are received by the BDC or appointment coordinator, use this track. Note. Greg recommends tracking calls for status by advisor because when customers are forced to call the dealership to find out what is going on with their vehicle, it wastes their time, the advisor's time, and is a prime cause of customer dissatisfaction. Thank you for calling Chris Motor World. Are you calling to make an appointment or check on the status of your vehicle? Perfect. An appointment. I can help you with that. Let me find you. Great. I found you right here. Are you wanting to bring your 2020 Toyota Highlander in this visit, or are we servicing the Lexus? Fantastic. I'm going to ask you a few questions, so we'll be sure you have a great visit. What services will be required during your visit? This helps plan the hour's sell strategy for the day and assures a quality repair slash service by directing the service to the most qualified technician. Appointments can be regulated by available skill type or operation code capacity. Is there anything else you may need during this visit? This is an opportunity to review recommended maintenance with them by viewing their history or using menu software. It looks like you could be due for your 50,000 mile service according to your history. Review the service and pricing and, if appropriate, add, is there a day that doesn't work for you? Even though the customer has called for an appointment and we think that they're able to commit to a day slash time, Many appointment coordinators often spend a lot of time just to learn that the customer simply did not think this through. This gives the customer a moment and gives the appointment coordinator a strategy for offering a couple of options. Are you planning on waiting for the vehicle on site or will you be leaving the vehicle for the day? If they are leaving the vehicle, I just wanted to remind you that your appointment time will be for meeting with the advisor. Once your vehicle is in, then we will route it to the best technician for your job which means it could be any time during the day. But I am sure that you'd like your vehicle back by 5 p.m. Is that correct? If they are waiting, determine waiting room capacity by chair count and then schedule to 60% of that to accommodate non-scheduled walk-ins. For example, if there are 10 chairs in the waiting room, then only schedule six waiters. Wrap up and offer. Great. So Tuesdays are not good days. I have Wednesday the 10th at 11 and Thursday the 11th at 1.30. Which of these will work better for you? Then recap with the customer. Awesome. We will see you on Thursday the 11th at 
We will call you on Wednesday just to remind you. Would you also like an email and text reminder? Thank you again for choosing Chris Motor World. This workshop was very well received among Dealer's Edge members. Greg went on to give detailed best practices and word tracks for the other key points in the service transaction. The write-up event, the estimate report, the multi-point inspection, and the completion. Remember, the full 45-minute streaming video workshop, its corresponding handouts, and executive summary are available to members in the Dealer's Edge archive 24 hours a day. You can sign up for a 30-day free trial and see all we have to offer at dealersedge.com slash free trial.